kids, Pastor Brian here. Welcome back to Answers From Above. This week's question is, do angels really have wings? Now that's kind of a tricky question to answer. When we see pictures, drawings, paintings, sculptures of angels, oftentimes artists will draw them as having wings. It could be though they're doing that just to let us know that this is meant to be an angel and not just some other person. Some people out there imagine that all angels do is float around on clouds and, and strum on harps all day long. But the Bible doesn't describe angels that way. God's Word says that angels are God's servants sent to do His will. That will could be uh, sharing a message from God to people. Uh, just as we heard about again on Christmas Eve, how the angels appeared in the sky above Bethlehem and told the shepherds that Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, had been born. Other times, God sends his angels to guard and protect his children. Perhaps you know the story in the Bible of Daniel and the lion's den where God sent an angel to close the mouths of the lion so that Daniel wasn't hurt at all. Yes, even though we can't see them, angels are all around us. The Bible says that they are powerful and lightning quick spirit beings. But unlike us, angels don't have a body. You know, they can't be seen or touched only time that happens is when God wants them to be for our good. Now getting back to your question though about angels having wings. This last week I paged through the Bible and I looked at all the different places it talks about angels and there are only a few where it actually says that angels have wings. Uh, many of the times it doesn't even talk about angels, what they look like, Sometimes it says that they're powerful or bright, but most of the time it just focuses on what those angels say or what they do. The few times that it does talk about angels having wings in the Bible, those angels don't have two wings, they have actually four wings or six wings. And these angels are special angels that are always near God and guarding his holy throne. So we don't really know from the Bible whether all angels have wings or only some of them. But if they do have wings or don't have wings, they don't need those wings to fly or to levitate off the ground or to travel from one place to another because angels are spirits. More important though than what angels may look like is what God has made angels to do. He's made them to be his special servants uh, to help and protect us. And that really is just another example of God's wonderful care and his incredible love for you and me. That we're so special to him that he would have angels watching over us all the time every single day. I'll wrap up this video by sharing with you a personal story about how God, when he wants to, still can use angels to miraculously take care of us. It's a story about myself. When I was in seventh grade, I was splitting firewood with my dad. And I had been chopping wood with an axe all morning long. I was getting tired. I lost my concentration. And I swung the axe and it came down and it grazed the side of the log and it landed on my foot. Now that axe should have easily gone through my foot into the ground. But it didn't. It didn't cut through the leather on my shoe, but my foot underneath didn't have even a scratch on it. There was no other explanation for what happened there than that God did a miracle, possibly used an angel, to save me from a great degree of harm, or maybe even worse. Let's go to our God and thank him for his special servants, his angels. We pray. Dear God, we know that you love us in Jesus. 
we thank you for sending your angels to watch over us and to keep us in your special care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, kids, that's all for this week. Keep on sending me your questions. We'll see you next time. God bless.